okay so uh, there are six diagrams in total when it comes to reflection in a concave mirror uh, so we are going to go through them one by one so if you see i've already drawn six diagrams so i will tell you what changes these diagrams okay objective position image position and the properties we can refer to the table you will see that uh, the table that we studied last time it's going to reflect the exact same things that we learn over here okay The first thing I'll do is I'm going to draw an object that is like an arrow, okay? Just to make it easy. So this is an object that is behind C. Right now it is behind C. So if I recall the rules, I'm going to uh, use any two of them right so if i say the first rule i can say is i'll say that a ray of light comes from the top of this arrow from the arrow head that ray of light is going towards the mirror hits the mirror and according to rule one it is going to reflect through focus like this right now I also know that rule 2 says if light ray goes through focus it is going to reflect and become parallel to this principal axis right now what I am looking for is since both of these light rays came from the top of the arrow both of the incident rays hit the mirror and reflect i want to see where both of these reflected rays are meeting right i'll notice a reflected ray one two are meeting over here so i'll say that my arrow head is over here and the arrow base is over here right this is how you draw a ray diagram you take two rays coming from the tip of the object and you see where the reflected rays will meet according to the rules. Now keep in mind that whenever you are drawing these diagrams, the distance between these two and these two should be same or else your diagram might come wrong. Now this is the first case, object behind C, image in between F and C. It is slightly diminished and it is inverted. Right. For the next case, I will put my object exactly at C. And I again follow the same two rules. One is parallel to the axis through focus ray number one. And the second one is through focus and then goes back and becomes parallel to the axis so you will see that these rays meet exactly at the same point as c right this was c so you will see that the image is also formed at c and it's the same height you will see that both the object image have the same size so if you re recall the table it will still say that c object at c image at c and the size is the same Right now I'm going to move the object a little more closer. I'm going to put it between F and C. Now 
again I will use rule 1 that tells me this is what is going to happen parallel and through focus then I will use rule 2 through focus and then becomes parallel right so you will notice that they meet over here so if I draw this over here the head the base will be right up top so now you will see object is smaller but the image is a little bigger it is inverted and it is at the back it is behind C so that exactly correlates to our table again I am going to move the arrow a little more ahead. I will put it at focus. Case number 4. Again, first rule and then through focus. Now, I will not use second rule here. I will, in fact, because focus is there, so I can't move a light through focus. I will use the third rule here that says a light ray that touches the arrow but goes through C. Right? Third rule says if the light goes through C, it will also come back through C. Now you see that these two rays of light are not really going to meet over here. They don't exactly meet here but at some distance they will. Right? They are almost parallel but not exactly. At certain distance these will going, are going to meet but at a very far away distance. So we say that they meet at infinity. Right? So it is going to be a very big image but that is formed at infinity. Now that brings me to the fifth and sixth case that we are not able to see through the experiment. One is what is it the, what if the object is at infinity and what if the object is between P and F. First I will go with infinity. Right? So just like the image being at infinity, object being at infinity is the same. I, we cannot see the object. right? So we can only say that there is some sort of parallel light coming from the object right so say the object is somewhere over there right you will see that all the rays are going to be parallel from that object and they are all going to pass through focus right so what happens in the case of parallel object uh, uh, sorry an object at infinity is all the rays of light go exactly through the focus. So at focus you will find a very small point size image. You can't actually see it. It's very very small. So just like object at focus image infinity image object is at infinity then image will be at focus and it will be very small point size image what we call. Now lastly the sixth case that is between F and P. Now this will not be recorded on the experiment because this is an image that cannot be recorded on the paper. It will not come on a screen. I will tell you why. 
so for this the first case i will see is through c okay again incident reflect through c now the second ray of light i will use the first rule again it will go parallel then it will go through f But now if you notice, if you notice this, the light is behaving a little oddly over here, right? It has never gone through the arrow before, but now it appears to have. So what we say is, these lines will never meet. But however, we still see an image with our eyes. For that, we are going to use these two lines, okay? I am going to say that this line, I will just extend it behind the mirror in its own direction. Even this reflected ray, I will extend it behind the mirror in its own di in this direction only, right? You will see that these will meet at a point. So what I can do is, I can make the image form over here behind the mirror. Now if you see every image we had it is upside down but this is the only image that is actually upright the arrow is pointing straight even the image is pointing straight both the object image are the same this is called a virtual erect image and it is found behind the mirror and none of these are found behind the mirror except this right so this is the only case where you will see that Right, so these are the six ray diagrams that come with concave mirrors and this is something uh, that is that might come in the exam. So it's very important to practice these images. Uh, in the next class, we'll be looking uh, at a small topic of convex mirror also, which is very small. Uh, for today, this is it.